40 IPAM service automatically assigns subnets to 40 gate. This prevents duplicate IP addresses from overlapping within the same security fabric. 40 gate can download the 40 IPAM service from the 40 guard. Register the 40 IPAM service for 40 gate in 40 care. 40 IPAM is a paid service. In this video, we will configure 40 gate root port 5 to be managed by 40 IPAM. Next, we will enable DHCP on the port 5 interface to supply IP addresses to the downstream network. Once 40 IPAM is designated as the IP source, we will configure port 5 interface on the downstream 40 gate, so that the downstream 40 gate obtains an IP address from the DHCP to connect it to 40 gate root and add it to the security fabric. Lastly, we will use 40 IPAM to assign IP addresses to the internal network. Let's log in to the root 40 gate. To verify the 40 IPAM service registration in the GUI, go to System 40 Guard and verify that the 40 IPAM service is registered. If the service is registered, the 40 IPAM area at the bottom of the page displays a check mark as well as the license expiry date. Next, we will configure the interface to be managed by 40 IPAM. Go to Network Interfaces and double click port 5 to edit it. The Edit Interface window opens. From the Role drop down, select LAN. In the addressing mode area, select Auto Manage by 40 IPAM. An information icon appears next to IP NetMask and below the network size drop down. The information icon indicates that 40 IPAM will allocate an IP subnet with the selected size. From the network size drop down, select the size of the network segment for this interface. Enable DHCP server because this allows the interface to supply IP addresses to the network. You do not need to configure address range or netmask. These will be configured by 40 IPAM. Click OK. Refresh this page if an IP has not been assigned. Notice that port 5 gets an IP address from 40 IPAM corresponding to the network size. It will also start assigning addresses through DHCP. Double click port 5 to view the assigned IP here. Next, view the IP allocation map. In the IP netmask area, Click Show Global IP Allocation Map. You are redirected to 40 Cloud. Click Login. The 40 IPAM portal opens. The list view displays the assigned IP entries. Double click an IP entry and click the Source tab. This is the root 40 gate that we configured. The Interface column displays port 5. Assigned type displays auto. Last updated displays the assigned time. Now back to root 40 gate. Go to network interfaces, look at DHCP server settings. As you can see, the address range and other settings are configured automatically. Next we go to the downstream 40 gate. Open system 40 guard and verify 40 IPAM is licensed. Go to network interfaces and double click port 5 to edit it. Port 5 is in the same subnet as the root 40 gate port 5. In the addressing mode area, select DHCP and click OK. The interface will get its IP address from the DHCP server configured on the root 40 gate. Back to network interfaces. Check if port 5 has an IP address assigned. Refresh this page if an IP has not shown yet. Double click port 5. The following fields appear in the address area. Next add downstream 40 gate to the security fabric. Go to security fabric, fabric connectors. In the security fabric settings area set status to enabled. In the upstream 40 gate IP field, enter the IP address for root 40 gate and click OK. The topology pane shows the connection is established. On downstream 40 gate, configure port 6 to use 40 IPAM. Go to network interfaces and double click port 6 to edit it. From the role drop down, select LAN. In the address mode area, select auto managed by 40 IPAM. From the network size drop down, select the network size. In this example, we will increase the network size to 512. Wait until port 6 gets an IP address from the 40 IPAM. Then double click port 6. The IP netmask is auto populated. Enable DHCP server if you want to allow the interface to supply IP addresses to this network. Next, go to the 40 IPAM portal in 40 Cloud. The List View tab shows the IP addresses for the downstream 40 gates. Select the subnet and click the source tab. The source details show that the IP address is different from the root 40 gate, so it will avoid IP conflicts. And this concludes our video. Thank you for watching.
For more videos, please visit video.fortinet.com.